Hello, my name is James, and this is my portion of the group project for Math 134, Summer Semester 2022. I will be going over problems 10 through 13. We are using StatCrunch data set for horsepower of 2019 vehicles. For problem 10, you see here we needed to create a Google Sheet file that anyone can edit including the following and the file, the original data set, numbers of the original data set, and original title for the data set, include in three the sample, and the three samples for questions seven, eight, and nine, include a second column or tab that displays the samples, insert a third column if needed that contains a, the organized data set, see the picture below, to the organized file here you can see our group we have our original data set it's one through 222 here are our samples we have systematic samples our convenient samples and our stratified samples here you can see how we selected and organized our systematic. Here's our organized sample. Here is our convenient sample. For convenient sample, we used the first 10 not used, as you can see here. Here's the organized sample. And here's our stratified sample. We chose two groups. Excuse me. And from those two groups, we selected samples from each, creating our stratified sample. For question 11, the question is, or the problem is, Use the whisker plot and estimate the shape of the distribution. Insert the picture of the graph and provide a sentence explaining your conclusion. Here you can see our whisker plot. The whisker plot uses the five number summary as found in questions three. Our minimum is 75, Q1 is 184, our Q2, or the median, is 248. Our Q3 is 299. And our max value is 455 horsepower. The lower fence that we found, which equals Q1 minus 1.5 times the IQR, equals 11.5. The upper fence we found, which is Q3 plus 1.5 IQR, equals 471.5. Our IQR we found is Q3 minus Q1, which equals 115. The distribution is approximately skewed to the right since the IQR is near the minimum value of 75. Possible outliers are maximum scores. The possible outlier is 455 horsepower. For question 12, Use the empirical rule or Chebyshev's theorem to provide a prediction of the spread of data set that is within three standard deviations away from the mean. Only one theorem applies based on the answer for question number 11. Provide the interval, percentage, and proper sentence in your calculations. We found that since the data is likely skewed to the right, we will be using the Chebyshev's theorem Therefore, the median of the sample, x bar, equals 245.3649 HP, or horsepower. The standard deviation of the sample, or S, equals 80.159 horsepower. And K equals 3. Excuse my glitch there. Therefore, 
1 minus 1 over k squared equals 1 minus 1 over 3 squared is approximately 88.89%. The interval x bar plus or minus 3 times the standard deviation equals 245.34649 plus or minus 3 times 80.159 equals an interval of 4.8879 on the lower end and 485.8419 horsepower on the upper end. By Chebyshev's rule, there is at least 88.89% of data within three standard deviations above and below the mean, with, the in, with an interval of five approximately to 486 horsepower with x bar plus or minus 3 times the standard deviation. And finally, for question 13, create a confidence interval for the population mean. Use 90, 95, or 99 levels of confidence. Provide the critical value, a sketch of the critical value, the standard error, and all formulas and calculations. Clearly state the parameter you are estimating, use technology for the sketch, and confirm the final answer. Insert a picture that confirms your final answer. We can use the TI or the stat crunch output. The author does not have the population standard deviation, therefore we are using a T interval with a 95% confidence interval, confidence level for the mean. Pardon me. We have N, which equals 222 samples, excuse me, 222 samples, yes, exactly. We have a degree of freedom level of 221, which is N minus 1. X bar, which is the sample mean, is 245.36486. We have a sample standard deviation of 80.159. We're, we're going to go with a C or confidence of 0.95 with alpha equaling 0 0.05 and alpha, alpha divided by 2 equaling 0 0.25 or 0 0.025. Excuse me. Here you can see the graph showing a t-score of 1.9708, approximately 1.97, as the critical value plus or minus 1.97. We use the ti code interval t at 0 0.025 to find our t-value. The standard error equals t times s over the square root of n, therefore 1.97 times 80.159 over the square root of 222, we get the error equals approximately 10.6. Therefore, our confidence interval of x bar minus e is less than the then mu, which is the population mean, which is equal than equal than x bar plus e, the standard error. Therefore, on the lower end, mu is greater than two hundred and forty-five point three six four eight six minus ten point six, which equals two hundred and thirty-four point seven six. And on the upper end, mu is less than 245.36486 plus 10.6, which equals 255.97 on the upper end. Therefore, mu is fenced in or bracketed by 234.76 on the lower end and 255.97 on the upper end. The 95% 99 confidence, 99, confidence interval for mu is 234.76, 
and 255.97 horsepower. Here you can see our lab output. The 95% confidence interval, mean of the population. Mu, the sample mean. Standard error equals our distributed freedom. Left limit, lower limit, excuse me, and upper limit. Thank you.